Hi everyone, welcome to the Furiously Curious Kids channel once again. I am Preeti here and we are going to have a look at the vowels in the English alphabet. To all of you who are watching me for the first time, we are doing a series on the sounds of the letters in the English alphabet. And I welcome you very warmly to this channel. Hope this adds value to you. And I hope you like this enough to subscribe. To all of you who have been watching me for the past in the past few modules, a big thank you to all of you for being so supportive and encouraging. So now let us have a look at the vowels in the English alphabet. If you ask me, are the vowels this important? People always talk about the vowels. Are the vowels this important? Why are the vowels so different in different word families? Why don't they behave in a certain manner at all times? Vowels are the most tricky people in the English alphabet and we need to understand their behavior in different word families so that we can read and write real fast. So here we go. Let's have a look at the vowel men in the English alphabet. All of us know that the vowels in the English alphabet are A, E, I, O, U. We have learned this when we were little children and this is what we teach our little children also. There are vowels, five vowels and they are A, E, I, O, U and bum. It stops there. We do not know much more about these and we do not actually care to know much more. We just tell the children A, E, I, O, U are the vowels. So what are the vowels? Who are the vowels? Why are the vowels so important? Here we go. First of all, we should be looking at the sounds of the vowels. We saw the standing men, we saw the sitting men and we saw the chameleon men in the letters uh, in the alphabet. So now it is the vowels time. A, E, I, O, U. What is the sound of A? A. E is E. I is I. O is O. And U is U. So if you look at it real close, you will understand that the vowels are those five letters in the alphabet that actually are named the same as their sound. Meaning the names and the sounds of these five letters in the alphabet that we call vowels are the same. A is the name of the letter and A is the sound of the letter. E, name and sound is the same. I, O, U, they are all the same. So, five vowel men, sounds and names are the same. So, that's very simple, right? So, then what is complicated? What is complicated? What did we learn when we were little children? What are we teaching our children now through all the alphabet songs? A for apple. A for Apple, E for elephant, I for ink, O for orange and U for umbrella. This is what we learned and this is what we are teaching our children now. Now think about it. Is there something wrong in that? How can A stand for apple. A, apple. A, ant. A, alligator. A, arrow. A, ambulance. A, acrobat. A is the sound and the words we teach the children start with a. How is that possible? Same applies with E. E for egg, E for elephant, E for elbow, E for envelope. Something wrong, right? I, I for ink, I for ink pot, 
I for insect, I for India, O for orange, O for octopus, O for office, O for on, O for ostrich, U for umbrella, U for up, U for under. So what is wrong? The names of these letters and the words we teach for the letters do not match. The sound of the letter we say A, E, I, O, U are the sounds of the vowel men. But the words that we teach and the words that we learned do not agree with the sound of the letters. So that is what we need to really know about the vowels. Vowels have two sounds. A short sound and a long sound. So actually all that we learned and all that we are teaching our children is correct. There is nothing wrong there. But we do not see a point, a very important point. We are missing the point. When our teachers taught us that A is for apple, that means A vowel has got two sounds. The one long sound is A and the short sound is A for apple. So in that one phrase A for apple, both the sounds of the vowel A is hidden. A is the long vowel sound and apple, a, a is the short sound. So what are the different sounds of A? Apple and A, apron. Apple, short sound. A is the short sound and A for apron is the long sound. What is the sound of E? E is the long sound. E for elephant. E for egg. So, E, E, E is the short vowel sound of E. So, the long sound is E and the short sound is E, E. Now, I. I for ink. I for ink. So, I is the long sound and I, ink, insect, in, India, I, I, I is the short sound. Now, O. O for orange. O, 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 O is the long sound and orange, O, 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 ostrich, octopus, O is the short sound. So the long sound of O is O, old, uh, O, O and the short sound is O, O. Now U. U is the long sound. U for umbrella. U for under. U is the long sound and a, 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 a is the short sound. So now you see there are two sounds for the vowel men and one is the long sound and the long sound is the name of the vowel a e i o u these are the long sounds of the vowel men and what are the short sounds very easy to learn the short sounds we have already learned it and you have to teach your children the short sounds as well. Because they start reading with the short sounds first and they will require the long sounds only later. So when you show them A, the child should be able to say A and not A. When the child starts learning, 
When he sees an A, what should be the sound that the child remembers? A. A. This is elephant egg. A. 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 This is ink. Ink. E. The sound is as short as a wing. E. So the sound, the short sound of I is E. E. Oh, orange. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, not O. Oh. It is O. Oh. O oh is the long sound. The short sound is orange. O, O, O. And umbrella. A, A, A is the short vowel sound. So now we know both the sounds of the vowel men, the long sound and the short sound. Long sound is the name of the vowel, A, E, I, O, U. And the short sounds are A, E, E, O, A. Make sure you work on this with your child. It is very important because all the lessons that we are going to do again on reading and word families and word building will depend upon these vowels. So start with the short vowels. Don't focus upon the long vowels now. We will take it up slowly in time. Now we need to know the sounds of the short vowels. Practice with your child. I will see you next module. Until then, you go back to the videos, learn all the sounds. Now we have just two or three more letters to look at. And then we are done with the letters in the alphabet. And after that, we will start moving on to blends and word building. Stay with me. If you like the channel, please subscribe, share with your friends. And we shall build a family where we can sit at home and we can work with the children. No matter, uh, you know, it shouldn't matter whether we can go to school or whether we can get the help of the expert trainees. We can do it on our own. Together, we shall do it. Okay? So, until we meet again, you stay safe, be happy, go through the modules, learn with your child, have loads of fun. Subscribe to the Furiously Curious Kids channel and me, I'm signing off. Bye-bye.